Hey y'all, I'm Telio1650, and this is Country Pride Videos. Hey, what's up, Dilio? This is Dilio. Thank y'all for joining me for another Minecraft World Showcase video. Today, I will be continuing showing off a world that I have built in creative mode. This is part two of the series, so if you haven't watched the first part, make sure you go back and check that out. And welcome back to Loveland. This is uh, Hula Baloo. Uh, I actually don't even remember what that means, but uh, this is... We're going to break in here because I don't feel like trying to go through all that process. This is my amusement park. So we broke in and uh, it says, Danger, Fireworks Cannon. We'll see what this does right here. I don't even remember. Woo! Yeah, that is uh that is dangerous right there. <laughs> my my working cannon right there. Got a, a ladybug. And I actually stole that idea from uh one of the girls that that Stampy did a video on. He went to her to theme park and she had that uh ladybug right there. Something pretty much like it, so I thought that was pretty cool, and I decided to steal it, so, yeah, total thief right there. This is, a uh, oh, that's a gift shop. Of course, nobody's working, because nobody joined in my lovely world, uh, Loveland. This, uh, little bumblebee right there, cute little bumblebee. And, what is this? This is, I think that's a caterpillar. I think that's supposed to be a caterpillar. And let's see, we got uh, the pig races. We're going to run in here and uh, let's see, I think there's some saddles somewhere. Anyway, we're not going to bother riding the pigs. This is one of the rides here. Uh, this is another one of the rides. Oh, this is a rainbow train. Jump on here and hit the button. Do we go? No, we don't go. Uh, like I said, guys, it has been quite a while since I uh, was building in this world. I honestly don't remember how. Half this stuff works, but I think there we go. Wee, wee, <laughs> whoa! And I hit a pig. Hey, there's a pig on the mine. I didn't. Do you have tickets to ride this pig? What are you doing on here? You're supposed to be across the way in the pig races. How'd you get over here and get in a mine cart? I don't even know. Uh, let's see. Anyway, we rode that. This is... Oh, I do have a few games here. This is one gold ingot for three chances to win. Let's see. I'd... Gold ingot. Oh, that's a gold nugget. Gold ingot. Anyway, uh, not even anybody working, so we can't really play this too well. But the, the goal here is... Oh, you're supposed to get pictures. I remember now. You're supposed to get pictures, and I uh, match that one there. Let's see what we can do. There's uh, gold ingots. Here we go. Here's some paintings. See if we win. Nope. 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 So, I lose. You know, I think these carnival games are all rigged. One, two, three. Oh, we got a match. We got a match. One for bronze, so we won the bronze prize, which is, which is, of course, none of those. It's, uh, it's the painting. You won the painting. <laughs> Told you they're all rigged. And, uh, what is this? The Ferris Bueller wheel. That's right, Ferris Bueller. Oh, that's right. This is out of order, because this is Minecraft Xbox 360, and mods do not work, so the Ferris wheel won't go, but it... I think it does look pretty cool. I am built this Ferris wheel, and, uh, yeah, pretty much you just get to look at it. Uh, let's see if we can just hurry up through here as best as possible. Mushroom, uh, mushroom stew. This is, uh, mushroom stew right there. Go in there and order you some stew, and come out here and sit and eat. We got a roller coaster right here. Let's see, this is the... Night, Night Rider. Oh, Night Rider. Anybody ever remember that old show? 
Most of y'all are probably too young to remember that. That actually used to be a television show way back in the day. Knight Rider. Actually, I think it used to be a comic book, too. And this is, of course, one of the bigger roller coasters in the world. And, uh, yeah, my, my wife actually built this coaster, if I remember correctly. And it goes around and around and around, and you get off. Whoa, and there we go. And, uh, from here you can, this is a hurricane. Yeah, pretty cool ride here. You just flip that switch, and it didn't work. And let's see if I can just jump on one of them. There we go. Of course, for it to work properly, you do have to have all the seats occupied. Otherwise, mine carts go at different rates. But you can just sit here and spin until you hurl. <laughs> anyway, it's one of my few rides that do actually work there. And uh, you just keep going around and around and around. This is, uh, I think, another, another caterpillar. And we've got... Uh, Authentic skeleton bones. One gold block per each. This is a... Uh, oh, it's a gift shop. Whoa, and I just got shot by that big skeleton right back there. <laughs> Pretty cool little... Uh, you step on these pressure pads and then you get shot. Uh, see, everybody, of course, always has a giant creeper in the, their world. But mine... Mine actually works. What happens if you get too close to a creeper? I don't know. What does happen? Oh, it blows up. <laughs> uh, let's see. One snowball for one gold ingot. Let's see here. This is a snowball. And this is actually a pretty challenging game. Let's see if I can get it. And it's supposed to be able to slide this all the way down to the end. Of course, can't jump, and it does take quite a bit of quite a bit of effort here. You got to be able to get it just right in order to get that snowball all the way down to the end. Like I said, game uh, guys, all the uh, all the games. Like I said, games, all the guys. <laughs> like I said, guys, all the games at a carnival are typically rigged but this one if you do manage to get it all the way down to the end will shoot out your uh, ender pearl there and of course uh see we got a little duck right there and this is the woodpecker another roller coaster i'll go and jump on that real quick and the buttons not gonna work because this needs to be backed up I don't know what it is about Xbox 360. They never could quite get the red, uh, redstone right. Always seems to be real glitchy there. Nice uh, view over the world as you go down. And then up and then down. And back to the start. There we go. So we'll, we'll exit here. And uh, another game. This is one gold ingot for one shot. Put the ball through the hoop. So you pay for your gold ingot, and you should have a basketball or something. There we go. Got a basketball, and we will stand right here. There's a hoop right there, if you see. And you throw it in there. Let's try a little bit higher. Did it work? Nope, of course not. Fourth time's a charm. Nope. Fifth time. Nope. I was pretty sure. Oh, there we go. Finally got it in. Of course, you can see that pops up, lights up, says you win. And then, yeah, then you win a cake. And I, I know Stampy would love that game if you get cake. This is uh, meat sticks. You come in here, you get uh, chicken, pork chops, or steak on a stick. I uh, got a flamingo there. Oh. Here we got a doggy, and that is uh, another shout out to Stampy. That's Gregory there, Gre uh, Stampy's first dog. And uh, 
Uh, if you couldn't tell, I was a big fan of Stampy when we started this world. I still am. But, uh, you know, he I, I started watching a lot of other YouTubers as well besides just Stampy. But uh, when I first started watching YouTube videos about Minecraft, it was almost always Stampy that I watched. Ooh, lava there. <laughs> Fire room as we go around the, uh, this roller coaster. And, of course, if you actually were playing in survival, which this world's meant to be on, and you were to catch on fire, you can uh, jump in here in case of fire. And we're going to do a quick autosave, even though I wish we hadn't, because now I have to go back and fix that creeper. I thought I turned off autosave before I started playing this, but uh, unfortunately it looks like I did not. Mojang's office is cool, by the way, and placing two chests by side side by side will make for one large chest. Anyway, guys, we're going to try to hurry up through the rest of this video. I'm just going to do a flyover. The first aid tent right here, this was called the uh, Fire Fright. Right there, and uh, I think we got another game. Got a butterfly right there. A uh, skeleton shooting the creeper. Uh, so you got another ride right there, although it's nothing fantastic. Yeah, so anyway, that's about it for that. Come over here. This is the uh, governor's mansion right here. You can see the big old U.S. flag there. I'm from uh, America, by the way. I'm showing some America pride. And uh, this, of course, I think is probably one of the nicest houses in the whole world. Nothing too fancy here, but... Uh, Actually, I don't think I really even finished the inside. Uh, so many houses I've built in this world and uh, just really didn't have the time to furnish them all. Didn't have the need to furnish them all because nobody else joined in. And we got a little bar right over here. Come over here, we got a barbecue pit. And of course, a hot tub right here. And being heated by some lava. If you get too hot, you can, of course, jump into the pool. And, uh, let's see. So, yeah, that's the governor's mansion right there. You come over here, you can see, uh, a nice little garden for this house. Tiny little house with a garden, but, uh, nice little section or neighborhood. Some of the houses that, uh, my wife and I have built. And just kind of do a pan over of all these. N nothing... Nothing real spectacular or fantastic inside. Uh, so you got a rainbow there. And I uh, got another neighborhood coming up here on your left. This is uh, this one I actually built entirely by myself. Uh, some different little types of houses. Try to make every, uh, every house different from any others in here. So that uh, none of them have the same floor plan or design tried to keep everything unique but uh, they're all pretty simple of course up there we got a hot air balloon and that uh, brings us to slow's home improvement warehouse where you can get all your construction needs my idea was originally to uh, make this a community world where everybody could join in play in survival and uh, you know, everybody kind of have a job and work for your uh, work for yourself. But you know, uh, without ever finishing this world, not having the uh, the time, and really just got kind of bored of it. Uh, didn't didn't quite get it finished. Got a nice uh, plantation plantation style farm here. Uh, world's largest chicken coop here, by the way. This was, I think, the very first chicken coop I ever built. Uh, nothing automatic about it. It's just it has a whole bunch of chickens in here. And uh, a way for them to go in and out by themselves. And uh, the chickens can actually power those pressure pads. So they can go in and out. If I don't want them to, I can just turn that switch right there. And that locks that door, by the way. Uh, let's see, we already looked at those houses. And, uh, yeah, like you can see, uh, like I said, guys, there's still a whole lot of this world that's not finished. Do have some pretty, uh, impressive builds here, if I do say so myself. They're not, 
not amazing or anything. We got a wool factory right here so that uh, somebody could get a job selling wool or harvesting wool. We got all different sheep here in all colors. You know, if you ever aspired to be a wool builder, then uh, that's uh, that's the place for you. And we have run out of time for today, y'all. If you have a world you'd like me to make a showcase video on, please send me a message on YouTube, Twitter, or Facebook. Thank you so much for joining me today, and we'll see y'all later.